Well, we're on the topic of energy. Another group of researchers at Oregon State just completed a huge project creating a 3D map of the electromagnetic energy in the Earth's crust for the lower 48 states. Pretty cool. Researchers placed measuring stations every 40 miles or so throughout the entire lower 48 to look at the electromagnetic conduction of each area. So why does this matter? Well, those stations provide information about the internal conditions of the Earth's crust. The temperature, the structure, the presence or absence of fluids, minerals, the list goes on and on. The lead researcher on the project, Professor Adam Schultz, says it all started as an effort to better understand the Earth itself, but then it evolved into something much bigger. It became obvious that this has a big impact on our electric power grid because the power transmission lines are grounded to the Earth and one thing that we're measuring is the impact of what's called space weather. This is the stream of charged particles coming from the sun, right, that intersects the Earth's magnetic field. And this leads to electric currents and magnetic fields inside the Earth. And so we're able to measure those. But importantly, those currents also flow through the power transmission network. And the power lines were not, and, and the transformers in the, in the power system weren't designed for that originally. So that's a problem for the power utilities. So how exactly is it a problem? Well, the professor brought us back in time to something called the Carrington event. In 18, 1850s, there was an enormous solar storm. People didn't understand the science then. But there was an enormous storm. You could see auroras down in Cuba, right? Down the tropics. And the telegraph stations all around the world started to spark. And people didn't know what was, you know, what was going, but it was this effect. So it'd be bad if that happened today and all of our stuff started to spark. Now, of course, we have much greater demands on our power grids than telegraph stations today, but space weather, it has not let up. There was another space weather event that was as big as a Carrington event in 2012, and the Earth just missed it. You know, we're, we're orbiting the sun, it sent down a particular direction, and we, we just missed it. If it had hit, the implications were dire. The power grid would have had a, a large scale failure. The recovery would have taken probably years. So that got everyone's attention at the highest levels of government. And it led ultimately to us completing the geoelectric mapping of the whole continent to provide that information the power utilities need. Professor Schultz says the map will also allow scientists to learn more about the conditions in the Earth's crust around the Cascadia subduction zone you may have heard of that term. That's where the big one is expected to come from.